Hello everybody and welcome to my 400th video for my 400th video and for today's Marking Core Plays we're going to play a game that I swore to myself I would never touch. We're going to play Outlast and uh, I've seen quite a few videos on this I'll be honest and um, I'm not sure how I'm going to react. Like I know kind of what's going to happen for like the first couple of bits but beyond that I don't know what's going to happen and um, I think I don't think knowing the scary makes it any worse or makes it any better to handle, you know? So, uh, we're just gonna jump right in and see what's up with this game. Also, just so you guys know, you're balanced on like 50 CDs. Professionalism. This is a really good looking game. I wish I was actually driving, that would have been cool. Can I change like the radio station? Can we get some tunage? Some sick tunage. No? Oh. Radio's cutting out. Mount Massive! can't actually see it. It's kind of a bummer. Okay. Oh man. Let's take a look at this vanilla folder. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric System facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. <laughs> Terrible things are happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that have been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt. Murkoff is making money. I need. It needs to be exposed. They woke something in the darkness. Did they dig too deeply? Boy, that's a fucking camera and a half, isn't it? Aw, oh, dude. Whoa. My name's Miles Upshur. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Miles. Let's see what's up. Wow. Yeah, fuck that. Like, come on. Who? No. Well, all right. I totally messed with those things. That okay, notes. Okay, and then documents. Okay. Well, let's take let's take a look in here. Anything? <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta jump. Hey, you can see your feet. Good job, game. Okay, so can I interact with anything in here? Doesn't look like it. I think we just need to suck it up and go this way, huh? Oh, God. <sighs> open door quickly, press X to open the door slowly. Hold down X and move forward or backwards. Okay, so we just click RB and then that starts recording the, the evil bullshit. What we got? I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track of records disguising profit as charity but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of those places to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. So that's why he can't call for help, is because all the shit, like all the ad revenue got cut. Or not ad revenue, what the hell am I even talking about? Wow, okay, because the cell phone signal got blocked by some kind of jammer thing. Oh, running is LB, okay. 
I can tell you what's not going to work is... Yeah. So, front door is not the way in. Is it this way? Kind of like around the side. No, nah, it looks pretty locked down. Let's go this way. The big armored trucks outside the front are a little worrying. I'll be honest. Ah, here we go. And since we already know how to crouch. Yes, I got it. Let me guess. Man, you know what? This is fucking spooky. Nothing's happened yet. I'm just, just letting you know. No, this game is spooky. But unlike, say, Amnesia Machine for Pigs, this is proper spooky. Not stupid bullshit spooky. We're like 30 seconds into the game and there's already more game mechanics than in like 20 episodes of Amnesia Machine for Pigs. That's such a cool, like, little music-y. Man, you know, you know, they're using, like, all the scary music tropes in this. Why don't they just break out the... Oh, God. Oh, fuck you. Nine. Oh, hey, the clock's working. Didn't think that was going to happen. Was that the TV? I, I think it was the TV. I think I just completely missed that. Whoops. My bad. Man. That look good thing. Ooh, battery. Reload by pressing Y. That's that's right. That's what I did there. Okay. Oh god. Alright. Gotta, gotta man up and do this. This is be a man time. Oh, look, a file. Let's pick up this document. Collect documents or under the thing. Oh god, there's a lot of shit. Uh, patient initial. So, Billy. Billy is the patient. He's 19. Ooh. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine. Wow. Activity. Observed at an unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. This biometry reveals no bronchial accumulation. What the? Oh, God. Failed to separate some shit. Highly worrisome. Uh, laughter and in state interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records, the one Richard Traeger, is... In Stop fucking with me, brain. One Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. In the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. The blood dreams. It's pretty fucking metal. Get in, get in, get in.
Oh god. I knew it was happening. Oh man, fuck you, game. <laughs> they killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Can unlock the main doors for security. Open the door. Yeah, that shit's nuts. Oh god. God, I'm freaking out. Freaking out, guys. Oh god. Little freak. Oh no! Oh my god! Now we got this guy to deal with. Who are you then? Ugh. Jump scares, fuckers. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. What is it? You have horror. Blah 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 blah. Right around here would be a great spot for like the title screen. Escape the asylum. Get the fuck out is your new objective. You got nothing to learn here. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if there's any logical place that I could escape from. Ain't no one getting in here. That's... That's for sure. Windows are reinforced. So you're not breaking out of those. Body. A lot of bodies. There's a lot of shit went bad here. All oh, right, you need the camera up in order to actually have the night vision on. Ooh, we got another document. Let's take a look. Uh, we got some more morphogenic crap. Okay, Walker H32. Morphogenic energy activity platitude at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage three hormone and schedule. Uh, it's got some bronchial accumulation. It's MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Okay. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic... I think, I think Walker's that big fucker that just threw us through the window. Uh, cellular activity. He claims his skin was ripped from his forehead. Allows for a truer way of seeing... Seems to have some boyhood experience with the Tutara lizards and their perennial eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. Mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seemed to have seemed to be regard retarding, retarding, retarding progression of the ME process. Oh God. This poor bass. Anything over here? No? Don't tell me to peek now. Ah, oh, jeez. Anybody this way? Ah, double jeez. Okay, well, we're not dealing with him yet.
Can't catch me. I'm light as air. Light as a feather. <laughs> what does that say? Proclaim the gospel. You gotta proclaim that shit. Let people know. What's up? Another document. Alright, who we got? Uh... Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric... Psych God, I can't even fucking read. Psychiatric? Center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We're satisfied with the shit and all that other stuff. You're hereby required to grant these people full access to all the shits. A responsibility. <laughs> yep. There you go. You seem pretty dead. You seem pretty dead. Seem. What am I supposed to do here? So that's the hallway that we decided to nope. And that's an open door that's just been busted out. And we got whatever's going on here. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. So he burst out of here. Where there's a whole lot of nothing, right? Oh, look, another another file. Let's pick that up. Ah, right. Dear sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of the Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. Four fatalities contain enough ambigu ambiguous data to make any litigations if evidence is correctly managed impossible. Project Wall Rider remains its dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the other, however, family and government interests in the patient is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishing unlikely. Okay, so there's some shit going down with something called Project Wall Rider. And as awesome as that sounds, I don't think it's a good thing. I really don't want to open that door. But, I'm going to open that door. I can't open that door. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're still people. We didn't choose this. Hmm. Of course, you know what's going to happen now. Is that I have to do the other side of the hallway. With that guy. Poor bastard. What's up, other poor bastards? Oof. You ain't looking too good there, pal. Ain't looking good at all. And you're just kind of cowering, ain't you? Although your foot's kind of fucked up. So is your arm. It's all stitched up. Ugh. Chris. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm calling it there. I'm too scared. I I've never handled scary games well, but I can attest to the fantasticness of this game in that it's well, <laughs> for me it's virtually unplayable because I'm shitting my pants so bad. Even though nothing's happened, it's all in my head. And that's all it takes, it's that it's in your head. So, if you want a good, scary game, it's gonna be it. This is probably the best scary game to come out last year. So, 2013. So, get this game if you want a good, scary game. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one, guys.